Hi guys, I am Ranjan Ranganathan. Welcome back to 5W series. We are back with an episode on another historic personality whose inventions changed the course of our history. Every year we hear about that person in the news. He is Mr. Alfred Nobel. We all heard about Nobel Prizes, right? Do you know that he is the man who instituted the Nobel Prize and also invented explosives? Since 1901, the Nobel Prize has been honoring men and women from all corners of the globe for outstanding achievements in physics, chemistry, physiology or medicine, economy, literature and for work in peace. The foundations for the prize were laid in 1895 when Alfred Nobel wrote his last will, leaving much of his wealth to the establishment of the Nobel Prize. But who was Alfred Nobel? Born in 1833, Alfred Bernhard Nobel displayed a lively intellectual curiosity from an early age. He was interested in explosives and he learned the fundamentals of engineering from his father. He was a competent chemist by age 16 and was fluent in English, French, German and Russian as well as Swedish. Wow. He studied chemistry in Paris and then spent four years in the United States working under the direction of John Erickson, the builder of the ironclad warship Monitor. Alfred soon began experimenting with explosives in a small factory on his father's estate. At the time, the only dependable explosive for use in mines was black powder, a form of gunpowder. A recently discovered liquid compound, nitroglycerine, was a much more powerful explosive. But it was so unstable that it could not be handled with any degree of safety. Nevertheless, Nobel in 1862 built a small factory to manufacture nitroglycerine and at the same time he undertook research in the hope of finding a safe way to control the explosive's detonation. Nobel's nitroglycerine factory blew up in 1864, killing his younger brother Emil and several other people. In an attempt to make a more stable explosive, Nobel made a new product which he called dynamite. In 1888, Alfred's brother Ludwig died while in France. A French newspaper erroneously published Alfred's obituary instead of Ludwig's and condemned Alfred for his invention of dynamite. Provoked by the event and disappointed with how he might be remembered after his demise, Nobel set aside a bulk of his estate to establish the Nobel Prizes to honor men and women for outstanding achievements in physics, chemistry, medicine and literature and for working towards peace. Later on in the 1960s, another category, economics, was added, an award given in six fields, fields from then on. Indeed, he did not intend the dynamite to be used for destruction of lives, but some people use it for destruction of human lives. So he needs to be remembered for the great contribution he did to society. Another thing you might like to know is, Nobel Prize goes with the slogan for the greatest benefit to mankind. Thanks for watching and thanks especially to our subscribers who keep all these questions coming. To watch more such videos, tune into 5Ws and subscribe to our channel. Until we meet next time, stay curious.